Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 106 of Love at First Scent. We're notching them up today for those of you watching live. Angela, I can see you've got the first comment again. Well done. Hello again. And in this episode, uh, which is going to be one of these sort of quick, rapid fire-ish episodes, we will be smelling this new release. It's a flanker from Victor and Rolf, one aimed at the boys, marketed at the boys, before I unwrap it and unseal it. And this is going to be a genuine, is it going to be love at first scent? I have not smelt this perfume, so what's this going to be like? Um, Thank you very much for tuning in live. If you are watching live, thank you very much for the, watching the recording. If you're watching the recording, either way, please consider subscribing to... Um, oh, I can see Q George saying, this is probably not going to be love at first scent. You never know. I like the original Spice Bomb. I like the original Spice Bomb. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done so. Please feel free to leave comments, questions. I usually try to get round to um, all of them uh, in due course. Uh, hearts, thumbs up, likes, all of those things are um, very much welcome. And also, if you wouldn't mind considering supporting my work on coffee, you will find the uh, link below. Some comments coming through. Adruba says, I expect you to sing such high praise about this one. <laughs> Ooh, is that any sarcasm, my detector? We can't go into it like that. We have to go into it open-minded. It's going to be great, right? It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be wonderful. Everyday Products, nice haircut, thank you very much. Multiple videos, says Keith, how wonderful. You Well, for me as well. Arkadju says, you should do YouTube posts so we could see the topic and prepare for live. If you're doing that and I haven't seen, I apologize. I kind of do and I don't. In the community tab, um, I say when a video is coming up, but to be completely honest, I, I don't often know until maybe just an hour or two before the videos exactly which ones I'm going to do. So it isn't always possible for me to um, say exactly what's coming up. I give as much notice as I can, but but it isn't always possible. So sorry. Uh, Tushara says hello. Hello from Budapest. Says Everyday Products. Can you buy Night Vision EDP now? Says James. I'm not sure if it's actually on sale yet. Uh, I haven't got the information here that says, but it, but it is on its way because yes, this is this is the EDP of Night Vision. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, only the most respect for this new scent, says Druva. So I guess the EDT did sell well, says Stefan. I suppose. Um, Night Vision EDT was a big disappointment for me, says Q George. Are you planning to review Oud Rosewood, says uh, Tushara. Um, uh, by Dior, uh, I, I, I haven't smelt it yet. I haven't smelt it yet. I would love to. Uh, Aperol Spritz says, just tuned in, like the hair. Thank you very much. Right, let's do this, okay? This is this is the genuine Love of First Scent article, okay? I have not tried this. Community posts are inconsistent, says Rich. Sometimes they appear on the timeline, sometimes they don't. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. I don't know what I... Yeah, there's probably not much I can do about that. Right, here we go. So, as somebody has pointed out, oh well, this is a good start. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to be able to smell this after all. So this is this is a this is a construction kit bottle. You need to you need to make it yourself. <laughs> no, I'm exaggerating. It's just come apart a little bit. The 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 um, the, the pin's been pulled. So <laughs> nice knowing you. Um, the original, of course, the original Spice Bomb by uh, Olivier Polge um, came out. What was it? 2012, 2013, and I thought. Uh, it, it was actually fine. I didn't find it especially spicy. Um, I think it was also round about then that Andy Tower released Eau de Pice, and I thought um, as, a, as a spice scent, you know, that you, you certainly got more spices in it. And for something that was called Spice Bomb, I, I never found Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb um, particularly explosive. But, but I liked it. I, 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 I liked how it worked and certainly in comparison to a lot of masculine scents that were coming out at the time, it was very, very good. Night Vision, and, and there have been lots and lots of flankers since then. Night Vision kind of passed me by. I'm sure I must have smelled it right. I'm going to have to press down on this atomizer thing. <laughs> I wonder if they're all like this. All right. Okay. It's working. So, let's see. Night Vision, I know, was supposed to have been a kind of um, greener take. A fresher take on Spice Bomb, and this is the EDP. I can see some comments coming. I'm going to get to them. Like, you're, you're all having a laugh about IKEA or something. Anyway, um, ooh, <laughs> okay, <clears throat> ooh, I haven't pulled a face like that for a while on one of these videos, have I? Let's put the pin back there, shall we, so that nobody sprays that anymore by accident. The forehead, yes, you haven't seen the forehead for a while. 
So, as I was saying, the original night vision was... <laughs> you know what though, I've so, uh, Eric, Eric's written Woody Amber fun. No, it's not, it's, it's, I, it, I'm not struck with those, you know, horrible Woody Amber notes. It's, it's something like really weirdly off-puttingly fruity. In a bad way, in a bad way. Oh, what is that? It's see. F f f sorry, s sorry for those of you watching the recording. I know, I know, it's really annoying for the people watching the recording when I refer to live videos that have actually been recorded on the same day. But for those of you who are watching live and have tuned in live, a few minutes ago I reviewed Andy Tower's new Thalo Blue, and that has you know, a, 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 an, an aquatic feel to it. This is also trying to do a kind of watermelony aquatic feel. And I feel like saying, oh my goodness, why was I not like a million times more enthusiastic about the tower? Because this suddenly reminds me of what those weird watery, watermelony, aqueous, fruity notes can be like. Oh. So this is, is this supposed to be now the male equivalent of the, of the dippy airhead feminine perfume. I don't mean, you know, dippy airhead woman, I mean like dippy airhead perfume or somebody that thinks that the person wearing it is a dippy airhead. Okay, I'm not getting any of the original um, spice bomb here at all. Oh, what is it about it that's just so, so, so moronic? Did I see, I, let me look at the comments now because I'm sure, is it a bit like a Lynx skin stripper, says Angela. It, it has got that kind of nasty, nasty, you just want to give the teenager a bit more pocket money so that they can afford something a bit better type, type feel to it, you know? Whoa. Okay, let's just let it develop for a bit and then we'll look at the press release as well. Oh, well. This ha we haven't had this. I've, I've, I've tried to be kind during lockdown, but you know, always honest, but um, yeah, not sure how I can be kind to this one. Let's look at, let's look at comments. Let's look at comments. Um, I was never impressed with uh, Spice Bomb says everyday products. To me, it smells way too sweet. Okay, fair enough. Eric says kinder perfume. Okay, oh, sorry, kinder perfume or Ikea edition. Oh dear, okay. Did you buy that at Ikea Persilase? Right, the, yes, flat pack, very good. I'm with you now. Um, uh, the Burrow Nerdy Fragrance Review says, oh my gosh, that was my favorite reaction I've ever seen. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> right, Modern Fruity Patchouli says to Shara, yeah, maybe, maybe. Mm. Let's just push this away a little bit further. Um, the original is such a nice scent, says Q George, but they turned out the night vision. Sounds disgusting, says Angela. No, I mean, disgusting is harsh. Just sort of like, just, you know, just socially distant, okay? Just like, you stay there, two meters is fine. Not downwind. Angelina says, it's certainly making me feel green. Now I understand the color of the bottle. Yeah, there's, oh, oh this is no this is like no actually let's push it even further away this is turning into headache central now hi from chicago says frag chita just just no wait for the next video you don't want to be smelling this one we need more savage reviews of <laughs> rubbish says kim you look like it's a yeah i think it probably is they just bought too many melon is one of my least favorite notes let's give it the benefit of the doubt you know we will also do a, a blotter update let's take a look at this it starts with i guess uh no, it's not a poem, is it? It's just something that's laid out to make, to make it look like a poem. The sun has set. Now the fun begins. In the dark, anything is possible, including tripping and breaking your nose. Anyway, lights are off. The game is on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Straight face. <clears throat> Everything is amplified, except the light, right? Because it's dark. So deep, mysterious, vibrant. You're being watched with night vision. Mm. Yes, I see what it is. Prepare to be desired. Actually, run like hell. There's some weirdo creep watching you through night vision. This is the ending of Silence of the Lambs. Run now, Clarice. Don't go in that house. <laughs> Prepare to be desired. Yeah, you know how that ended. Okay, 
the the concept mysterious intense always game actually i think we need to do this all now somebody play the silence of the lambs theme tune so <laughs> i can't do a hannibal lecter voice any building on the success of their spice bomb night vision eau de toilette victor and rolf introduce a new more intense fragrance journey clarice Prepare to enter a world that's even sexier than what came before. Oh, I'm not sure I could take that. These, this seductive scent takes a deeper dive into the voyeuristic realm. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> Designed for the open-minded masculine seductor, Spice Bomb Night Vision Eau de Parfum highlights this, highlights this tribe. There's a tribe of them. By creating an intoxicating blend that's just for them. Do you belong to that tribe? Because if you do... You better stop watching now. The designers invite um, the designers invite to play a new game of seduction in the dark, where the green rays of night vision reveal the most mysterious and irresistible facets of a man, if you say so. With spice bomb night vision eau de parfum, cross the green light of intensity. Right, tell us about what the perfume is actually meant to be. After the runaway success again of their spice bomb night vision eau de toilette, Victor and Rolf present a powerful new eau de parfum that builds on the former's green freshness, paired with black spices for a bolder, more, more potent result. Created by perfumers Nathalie Lorson, oh, we've mentioned her already today, and Pierre Negrin of Fermanish, spice bomb night vision eau de parfum is a fougère aromatic ambery. A deep and dark cocktail of virility. A cocktail of virility. Be careful, ladies. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so biting my tongue when, like every two seconds here. Designed around a mysterious explosion of vibrant black spices complex and contrasted green resinous dry down. Have you seen that movie where they go, what was that? That was a mysterious explosion. Hmm. The distinctive grenade bottle was transformed into an all-black glass flacon, emphasizing the mysterious depths of the new fragrance. Mysterious depths. <laughs> I think they're trying to push the mystery idea here, don't you? Taking the green light of night vision technology as its design inspiration, the new Eau de Parfum crosses the green line of intensity again. Does it? Does that mean it's crossed it back? Can you recross the line? How does it work? Are there like just like lots of lines and you just keep pinging through them? The deep black, black colored glass is highlighted by an intense green band reinforcing the irresistible attraction of the iconic grenade. Yes, I'm so attracted to this iconic grenade. <sighs> purge, purge, ding. Let's smell it again, actually. Let's see if we get some... No, it's... No, it, it's less unpleasant now, but it's also supremely generic. So watch out. Somewhere near you, there is a tribe of these guys putting on their night vision goggles, waiting to desire you. Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Try venturing out now. Um, sorry, I just got carried away and we've got some comments here. Uh, wow, the praise for this was amazing, Druba, says Druba. Thank you for the wonderful acting, you're welcome. This is so much fun, I'm crying, says Miss Elaine. Don't cry too hard. The press release was written by Stephanie Meyer, says Everyday Product. Uh, Oh, the pickup artist says Miss Moons. Mm, yeah, dodgy one at that. Hormonal teenager staring at you at the disco says Shimon. No, 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 no. Because teenager would be a bit more innocent. This is no. This is like a creepy older guy. I think. <laughs> Arkadiu says time wasted, and you could do a review of essential perfume discovery set and bring joy to us all. Well, I'm trying to bring joy even when I don't like the perfume. Sorry, Arkadiu. Oh, Arkadiu isn't happy with this episode. Send him some love, people. Eric says, sadly, Victor and Rolf saves all the weirdness for the marketing and not the fragrances. Rich Mitch says they just bought too many of the Spice Bomb bottles <laughs> and decided to knock up something to fill them with quickly. You never know. Uh, voyeuristic says, Burr, just why? I mean, I know exactly. Can you imagine? Can you imagine like the sales assistants doing the, the training saying, you know, so, sir, if you, you know, if you're a voyeur and you enjoy watching people when they don't know, this is the scent for you. Oh, blue is your colour, says Sammy. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Uh, Rich Mitch, I'm getting the authorities involved with the person who wrote that. So far, nothing about the scent, but all packaging and bottle colour. Well done, PR material, says Q George. Yeah, exactly. Angeline, would this make even Aventus more acceptable? Uh, let me think. No. No, 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 no. I would still take this over Aventus. Um... Flacaness says you can't blame it on the perfumer, they just deliver what the brands ought. Yes, in these sorts of scenarios, you know, you can't sort of put the blame on the perfumer because I'm sure um, the, the perfumer did, made exactly what she was asked to make. Marketing to the creepy older guy crowd, says Dr. Salto. Hmm. 
Okay, how are we doing for time? Right, I will come back with at least one more in a few minutes. So what we will do next, let we will do the new one. I really want to try it now, says Shimon. <laughs> if you do, let me know what you think. We will do the new one from Hiram Green. Sorry, try that again. We will do the new one from Hiram Green, which uh, hopefully will be... Uh, <laughs> of a higher standard than this one. So I will see you in a few minutes. Until then, take care. Bye.